This is a short QuickBooks training video on the Accountant's Copy feature in QuickBooks. This particular video is about sending an Accountant's Copy to your accountant, not saving, which is discussed in another training video. Saving would be saving the Accountant's Copy file to a physical media. I could save it to my desktop and attach it to an email. I could uh, send it, or I'm sorry, save it to a CD or save it to a flash drive or anything of that sort. In this case, I'm going to go to File, Accountant's Copy, and you see the option here I have to send to Accountant. Now this is a new feature in QuickBooks 2008, so I'm using 2009, so it's available in either 2008 or 2009. If you have QuickBooks 2007, you do not have that uh, option. But Send to Accountant is going to create the Accounts Copy, and then it's going to upload it to a secure Intuit server. And then that will send an email that will notify my accountant that I've done that. And in that email will be a link so that the file can then be downloaded and uh, worked on by the accountant. So let's pick this send to accountant and kind of go through the steps here. I set a dividing date. We discussed this in the save accountant's copy. So I'm not going to go into detail on the dividing date in this one. So my dividing date is 12-31-08, and I'm going to say, okay, the accountant's email address, let's do lance at tracycpa.com, that's my email address, so we'll use that. Your name, this would be the QuickBooks user, well, this is Joe's landscape, so let's say uh, Joe is sending the accountant's copy, and since Joe is a fictional character, he doesn't really have an email address, so I used my email address here again. Of course, this, the first time you do this, this won't be filled out. You would have to fill these items out yourself. I have to create a password. And the password has to be both upper and lowercase letters and numbers. So I need all three of those components. And I know you can't see what I'm typing. It's not important. It's just that it needs uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. Once I have typed in my password, I will click Send. And QuickBooks will create the accountant's copy, and then it will send that uh, to the uh, Intuit server, and then send that email to my accountant. So pretty much from the messages here, I can tell it's created the copy, and in just a moment here, it will send that through my internet connection. There, it's sending the QBX file. The QBX file is the um, accounts copy. So here we go. It's the message is telling us your accounts copy file has been successfully uploaded to the Intuit accountants copy file transfer server. So we're all done. That's all there is to it. It the file is there. The email will be sent to our accountant, and that's all we have to do, except to wait for our accountant then to get those changes back to us. And how to import those changes is discussed in another training video, which you can also view on this same site. Thanks.